everyone, Alexa here from the blog thedubalhomestead.com and today I'm going to be sharing with you our farmhouse bed headboard. We wanted to just bring in a little bit of farmhouse style to our bedroom. This is our master bedroom which I haven't shared on here very much because it is very much a very simple room. I don't have a whole lot of stuff in here in general for master bedroom decor. I like to keep it really simple and really not have much decor at all, but I do think a headboard is necessary. And just this very simple headboard, which isn't even a full bed frame, has already made a huge difference in the room. So we already had a bed frame on our mattress that we had got a while ago, and we saved the parts and instructions that the bed frame came with. And we bought this headboard on Amazon because we just liked that it was very simple, black, steel, kind of classic farmhouse looking and we just assembled it ourselves. So I want to show you how we did that. It's very easy if you want to get a headboard and just create a really nice look with your bedroom to kind of bring everything to the center and have a headboard behind your bed. It's very easy to do that as long as you have the adjustable plates that connect to the bed frame so that you can put the headboard, attach it to your bed frame. If you don't have those plates, you can either buy them or you could try to swing setting up the headboard up by itself and resting it against the wall. I don't think that, that would look as good. We haven't tried it, but I suggest figuring out how you can attach your bed frame and your headboard. Now you might be wondering why we didn't get a full bed frame with a headboard and a footboard and simply because we just don't think it'll work for us. Um, my husband is over six foot two, I think, and he wants to make sure his feet don't touch up against it. And it's just generally more expensive and Usually the best way to do that is to get a full complete bed frame set that comes with the headboard and the footboard and the bed frame. So instead of piecemealing it all together, we just said, all right, we already have a bed frame, so let's not touch it, let's just get the headboard. So that's what we did. And this one on Amazon that we bought came with the plates that you use to attach the headboard to the bed frame. And so it was pretty easy. This had a spacer in it and then these bolts had to get mounted so basically you're using this to use as the frame, the spacer to attach another bracket here which the headboard is going to connect to. Not really sure about the length on where this needs to get attached at but we're going to basically through trial and error look at how big the bed frame is, attach it and if we need to shift this uh, like left or right we can do that. You're going to need a 9 16 inch socket. You have this style of bed frame, also a wrench to hold down the nuts. Uh, and just to make sure that the nuts stay like while you're ratcheting in the head of the black screw. So one thing you want to make sure you are aware of is how tall and how wide you want your setup to be. This bed frame was adjustable to different heights. One thing you need to think about is your pillows. So when your pillows go up against the bed frame, unless you like to have your pillows flat, if you are propping your pillows up, then you want to consider that height so that the bed frame still sticks up out of it. One of the bed frames that we were looking at that we really liked online was super cute, but if you did the measurements from the, you know, bed bed frame and the mattress and we even have a mattress topper so that's a couple of inches inches and then the pillows it would have disappeared so make sure you measure and you're aware even if the headboard says queen or whatever make sure you've measured your mattress and your pillow topper whatever you have all your sheets and your duvet and your pillows and make sure that it's higher than all those things you want to make sure you put the mattress on the bed frame before you figure out the height of the headboard because like i said even if you've done the measurements you want to make sure that the pillows and everything are going to be accounted for in our case we went with the highest level possible which i think most people would probably do unless you had a really thin mattress or something That. 
fitting. Watch out. Almost. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Not quite. It's off center. See how this one comes in and that one goes out? That's because the mattress is off centered. Oh, good. Oh, good. That's an easy fix. There we go. <laughs> So that's it. That is our headboard that we set up. It is a nice compliment to the room. I've been doing a few farmhouse bedroom updates as we are kind of just putting a little more effort into this bedroom. It previously had nothing in it. It was just a bed and a ceiling fan and a mirror. So really I'm excited to make it a little more cozy. It's just a square shaped room, nothing fancy to it. Um, I don't wanna put a lot of things on the walls, but I do think that some things would be really pretty. We have some curtains up and I put the, I showcased those in another video in a tutorial because we wanted to block some light since our room is east facing. So those are actually light filtering curtains, which have worked out pretty well for us. Um, I also refinished a dresser. And so that's now in the corner of the room that was an antique dresser that was just needed to be refinished. And I have a whole tutorial on the blog about how to refinish a dresser. If you're interested in doing that yourself, it's really easy, you just sand it down and paint it. And I got it for free. I will link the headboard and some other tutorials that you might like from this bedroom in the description box below. All right, so that is the third update in our farmhouse bedroom series. I'm sure there'll be more to come, so stay tuned. If you're new to my page, make sure you subscribe on YouTube and like on Facebook. Every week I post new farm to table recipes, homesteading and homemade natural living from our homestead in Duval. Thanks so much for stopping by at the homestead. Mm -hmm.